Gotcha. Uh, so some of you guys were asking about the old shifter bushing. What's the recall you're doing on this? It will be... That's yours. It's over there. This is 21S24. This was the old recall. So the old part number that's still a good part number that Alex completely destroyed here is <laughs> DG9Z 7 Kilo 340 Apple. So this is the bushing. If you wanted to have somebody update it before Ford comes out with the newest update for the fourth quarter, this is the part right here for the safety recall. This is the new one that's going in there and it sits down on all the vehicles right here on this parking lever underneath the air box and you basically put a trim tool or a flat screwdriver under here and you'll pop this whole thing sometimes it'll look like that with an empty hole and you go to shift it into drive or reverse or something and this thing will pop off of there and the transmission will be left in the position that it's in and you'll think it's in park and the vehicle will roll so get an idea, get an eye on this cable down here. If you got to remove the air box, whatever you got to do to pull this cable out of the way, get an idea on whether or not this bushing, the old bushing, is still good. Once you get it popped out and the bushing out of there, this, you can take a little grease and put on it, you can spit on it, whatever you want to do, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to put a little grease on this real quick, I'll be right back. Got it. So I just took a little bit of grease and put on there, not very much, and then I'll wipe off any excess once I get it in. And what I'll do is, it's hard to do this with this from the bottom side, from the flat side on the bottom. I'll take this bushing and I'll start it and sometimes I can get it to roll in without using, well don't drop I'm going to try to do it with no tools but as you can see I just dropped it, it's, it's kind of difficult. There it is. Just got to get it on the right angle. It snaps right in there. And then that will go on the parking pole. Now it's centered on it. Now I'm going to push it down. There it is. There's supposed to be a cover that goes over it too. Yes. This little white cover keeps all the trash and debris and stuff off of it. And the white cover is DG9Z7S004A. And you'll take this cover and you'll insert it over the front. And then we'll, we'll slide it back like that. And it sits on there like so. Take a picture of that real quick for the thumbnail. I don't know. Just go there. Yep. All right. Well, that's it, guys. Until that permanent fix comes out in the fourth quarter for the shifter bushing recall, this is the last update recall to do this. So if you have one that disintegrates or something like that and you can get down in here and check this mechanism for the shifter... This goes for the rotary dial indicator guys and the shifter levers, both of you guys. You got a knob or if you got a regular shifter, this goes for you on these vehicles, on these escapes, fusions, transits, edges, I think. Anyway, that's the update. That's just the update for right now until they come out with a permanent fix. They don't have the permanent fix for it yet. So in the fourth quarter, they may change that bushing again, but if you're left stranded, and you're trying to figure out why you got some kind of fault message on your dash when you go to get out of your vehicle, pull the parking brake if it's rolling. So anyway, the towing of that vehicle, um, have it towed to your local dealer and they can, you're gonna have to pay for it, but they can put the bushing and cap back on it. And it's like 15, 20 minutes or so, half hour, whatever max is. And uh, you can get those taken care of. Anyway, I keep getting interrupted, but uh, what ends up happening is uh, you just, you're going to have to have it towed to the dealer until they get a permanent fix because they've already done the recoil on your vehicle once. If you haven't done the 21S42 or something like that, shifter cable bushing recall, the old one, then you need to because the 22S42 is the new one that they say they're going to release fourth quarter, um, but that 
bushing and cap will fix your problem at least temporarily until the final notice or update comes out you guys were asking for that that's how you check them and that's how you replace them you can just take a pick and pull it right out of there or anything and pull the old one out